Uh, I just wanted to bring you up to date on the Belgian operation on the Congo. Uh, it came off, as I think you're aware, at 11 o'clock last night, Eastern Standard Time, when 545 Belgians were dropped, uh, no casualties from fire during the drop. Two or three soldiers were injured, uh, broken ankles and things of that kind. Twelve U.S. C-130s participated. Four were hit by ground fire. One sustained major damage in a fuel tank. All, however, landed safely at Leopoldville. No U.S. casualties in the aircraft at all. The aircraft was secured, uh, the uh, airfield was secured in about half an hour, which was excellent under the circumstances. The city was entered in about 45 minutes after the start of the drop. The European hostages had been rounded up by the rebels into two groups. One group was out near the airport, the other was in, in effect in the square of the city. Uh, there were 60 to 75 U.S. Uh, personnel in a hotel, and we think that of these, as many as 15, uh, uh, let me start again, there were 60 to 75 personnel, including some U.S., mostly Belgians, however, in a hotel. And of the, fifth, of the 60 to 75, 15 were killed by the rebels, shooting indiscriminately into the mob. 30 were wounded. There were about 250 European civilians herded into a square. Rebels fired into those. About 15 were killed and 40 wounded. So it looks as though something on the order of 30 hostages were killed and maybe 70 wounded. Our consul, the man named Hoyt, H-O-Y-T, is reported well and has been evacuated, we believe. Dr. Carlson, the missionary, we believe is dead. The Vanderbilt column, which was the column led by mercenaries, entered the city about five hours after the drop started and linked up with the Belgian paratroopers and the Vanderbilt column captured the Camp Katili, which was uh, on the eastern side of the city and was the center of the, the rebel power area where the other hostages had been reported. Our C-130s have been running missions between uh, Stanleyville and Leopoldville, evacuating the, the refugees. About 200 to 300 have already been taken out, uh, and about 500 more remain to be taken out. We think we'll take out about half with C-130s and the other half with commercial aircraft. So far, it's been, I should say, militarily a, a highly successful operation, but the casualties to the hostages have been heavy. How many Americans do you anticipate? We, we, we don't really know. The, as you know, that we thought there were about 25 American hostages there with some 600-odd uh, Belgian hostages. and, and we don't know that any Americans were either killed or wounded, but my guess is that there must have been some. What about... Uh, other, other than Carlson, as I mentioned, who we believe is dead. What did they do, uh, just to make him pay the price? When well, we don't, we don't have the exact details of his death here. We don't know whether he was killed ahead of time or, or during the episode. I believe it was ahead of time, but I'm not absolutely positive of that. Any rebels killed? Uh, I'm sure there were, but we don't have reports of that either. Uh, who would kill him? Uh, uh, paratroopers? Uh, the, the Belgian paratroopers, yes. And the Vanderbilt column coming in from the other side. What's the reaction uh, uh, in our country? It's in really the same, Mr. President. Uh, it missed most of the morning papers, but the, the late morning uh, Washington Post has, has an article on the front page, and the headline is U.S. Drops Rescuers in Congo. The article is straightforward, but appears uh, uh, entirely sensible. What are the potential dangers you see that this action? Well, the, the, the danger is that uh, the dangers are several fold. Uh, one, we can be accused of, of uh, colonialism, uh, uh, linking up with, with, uh, with a, uh, a reactionary government in the Congo and, and uh, indiscriminately killing the, the rebel people who we believe will be supported by the eight nation African conference, it looks almost certain as though Kenyatta and and, uh, and uh, the governments of seven other African states will be supporting the rebels and therefore attacking us for, for supporting the government. I doubt, however, that in view of the rebel action in, in indiscriminately killing the hostages, there will be any strong public support in this country for that, that charge. I think we would have been in a, in a worse position if we'd gone ahead and withheld the drop and then had the Vanderbilt column approach the city and the rebels would have acted, I suspect, in almost exactly the same fashion, uh, except they would have had more time and killed more hostages. 
and then you would have been charged with withholding military assistance, which was close at hand, and as a result, uh, accepting uh, a large number of civilian deaths.